Catherine, I offer you the three things most dear to me. My heart, my country, and my dream. You are too generous. Catherine, you must listen to me. Since that first hour we met, I've been completely yours. There's never been anyone else for me. There never will. Oh, please, please don't say any more. There are worlds between us, worlds that can't be bridged with words. You said one night that you wished we were two different people. I think you may have that wish, Catherine. What, what do you mean? I'm going to tell you something tonight, Catherine. Something that will put my life in your hands. Please don't tell me. How do you know you can trust me? I love you. And I believe you love me. You're quite wrong. This has been only an adventure to me. That isn't true, Catherine. It is true. You smiled at me. I was flattered. It was an adventure for a holiday mood. You may as well take my heart, Catherine. It's already full of you. You walked into it the day we met. What's wrong, my dear? You know nothing about me. You've known me only three weeks. Three weeks? Catherine, I've known you all my life. All your life. It's true. I've seen you in a thousand plays, read you in as many books. When I've heard beautiful music, I've thought she'd like that. I've looked at flowers and known that one day I'd give them to you. Oh, stop, stop. You thought I was young and easily swayed. That you could make me love you. And I would throw over my country, my duty for That's you. That's not the way to look at it, Catherine. You weren't so wise after all, because you've lost, you hear me? Lost. You guessed wrong in our little duel of wits. You forgot how close hate is to love. You don't know what you're saying, Catherine. You never loved me. You knew that I loved you, and you used that. Catherine, stop talking like a child. We're playing for countries now. Yes, we are, aren't we? This is a gun in my hand, Rudolph. I'd advise you to be careful what you say. Well, rather melodramatic, aren't you? Tell me, will I be the seventh notch on the gun or the eighth? Do you mind if I smoke? Smoke? I always smoke at the theater. Somehow it enhances the performance. You can do anything you please, Rudolph. But you have very little time to do it in. You mean you're actually going to kill me? I mean just that. Well, go ahead. I'll do this my own way. Look, you already know my purpose in being here. Now you will either give me my information, or I will kill you. You have until nine o'clock. You won't do it. You can't pull the trigger. You can't pull it because you love me. It takes a very brave and a very cold woman to do that, Catherine. I don't think you can. Isn't that true? Isn't that why you're waiting? You want my heart to constrict with agony, my hands to shake. You want me to plead for my life so you can make a generous gesture and spare me. Sorry, Catherine, I don't seem to be in the mood for prayers tonight. You don't think I'll do it? That's why you're so brave. You don't think I'll do it? You wouldn't be so brave otherwise. You're a coward at heart. You lied to me. You deceived me. You tried to deceive me. I'm tired of listening to you. You gave me your heart, you know. You'd like me to hand it back whole again, but I won't. You will live a long time yet, Catherine, an eternity without me. You will look into the faces of passers-by, hoping for something that will, for an instant, bring me back to you. You will find moonlit nights strangely empty, because when you call my name through them, there will be no answer. Always your heart will be aching for me, and your mind will give you the doubtful consolation that you 